seems pretty well documented. Chopin, from his letters, um, was really terrified. Now, sometimes people are terrified, but they just go out there and they do it, and they're awesome, <laughs> you know. But but we shouldn't have to suffer. Yeah, you know, we all have to deal with the weirdness of stepping up on stage in front of people and doing what we've spent all these countless hours doing. It's like, you know, it counts now, so don't screw up thing, you know? We all have to deal with that. It's, it's, it's a bizarre thing to do, right? Um, and I've thought about it long and hard, you know, especially in my sort of re relatively recent role as a, a wellness advocate at USC. You know, I'm the chair of the wellness committee I developed a course in musicians' wellness, and a, a big part of that is, you know, the, the psychological, emotional side of being a performer. Um, so I've, you know, read quite a bit about what people say about performance anxiety and, you know, self-talk and cognitive behavioral therapy and, you know, all, and meditation and mindfulness and all these different things. Um, it's a big topic, you know, like how do we self-actualize to, to be our best selves? You know, the, the, one of the books I, I use as a resource, it's, it's, the title is Playing Your Best When It Counts, you know, which is like, that's what it's about, you know, because we've all had that experience. It's like you go to the lesson or the studio thing. It's like, it was great in the practice room, but, you know, that doesn't count, you know. <laughs> you know. Um, some people are are a little bit more sensitive to the tension and the pressure than others. Some people seem to have ice water in their veins and they're, they're fine. Some people are very sensitive and, and sometimes the people who have ice water in their veins, like they don't move the audience emotionally. You know, you can sort of sense that they're not, you know, but you know, I think we can all get better at it. We can all like, there are some people who have, you know, a, a, like a specific psychological disorder when it comes to performance anxiety. It's not just like, oh, I get a little nervous and my hands are shaking or, and I don't play as well as I want, but they're like incapacitated. And, and there's some incredibly famous successful artists who suffered greatly. Luciano Pavarotti, right? You think of him as being the most joy, apparently he would, you know, Barbara Streisand, she stopped performing for 27 years because she forgot the lyrics to a song. Seems pretty well documented. Chopin, from his letters, um, was really terrified. Now, sometimes people are terrified, but they just go out there and they do it, and they're awesome, <laughs> you know. But but we shouldn't have to suffer, you know. I always think it's it's a natural human reaction to pressure. You know, it's what they call flight and fight response, right? It's it's some part of our psyche sees it as, as an existential threat. It's like if I don't succeed in this thing I have to do, my value as an individual is diminished, and then we can cascade down and just catastrophize and magnify and all these things. And so a lot of it is just putting it in perspective. If I make a mistake, it's not brain surgery. If I make a mistake, no one's going to die. You know, I, you go on and you play the next note. But, you know, why do we get so nervous? Because we care, you know, because we, we've spent all this time and we, we desperately want it to, to be the way we want it. And, and there is a certain kind of ego gratification. It's like, I have to prove to you that I am worthy of you sitting there and paying for me, you know, to hear you. And... You know, again, I talk about Pepe, you know, Pepe flips it around and and says, it's not about me. I have nothing to do with this. It's the composers over here and you're over there and I'm just this vessel and it just goes through me. <laughs> and whether I do it perfectly or screw up completely makes no difference. I'll accept whatever happens if I just prepare and I'm as prepared as I can be, then my job when I get up to perform is to just let it flow out of me. It's easier said than done. But my favorite Pepe quote about this is he, someone asked him, well, Pepe, do you get nervous? 
before you play? And he said, I have to do it, it's Pepe's voice. He goes, you know, when you're backstage and you start your knees shaking and your hands are sweating and you can't breathe and your stomach is flipping and you think you're going to throw up. I love that. <laughs> it's because in that moment, my body is a battery that's being recharged with energy. Energy I need to go on stage. And when I go on stage, it flows out of me to the audience. So that's a really, that, you know, that's how he put it. And because of all the reading I've done on the, the, the psychology and physiology of, of performance anxiety, it's so deep what he, what he says, because what it is, is, you know, our body is preparing for emergency and there are these very documented physiological responses that we get. But if we push those away, like our, our tendency is to, I don't want to feel that. I don't push it. I don't want to feel that. Then we walk on stage and it's suddenly, no, no, I do want to feel my body now. Right. But he says, you just let it flow through you. You don't fight it. You accept it. And you, you say, I, this is good. This is good. I need this energy. And then, whew, you know, so th there's a certain bravery and like acceptance that comes with that. And, and just knowing that it's going to feel weird and feel different, but it's, it's a good different. You know, I, I, I become pretty, pretty regular with meditation now. Like, like, you know, I, I, I've read so much about how good it is for you that I feel like if I don't do it, it's pretty, pretty you know, uh, hypocritical, you know, but, but I, I actually don't like meditate, meditate before I go on stage in a way that.